Okay folks, so I have finally got around to building Storm Eagle number 3 and I felt like doing something a little bit different with this one. I always fancied the idea of having a Storm Eagle with people already departing from it. So, you can see there I have a little chap just on his way out the side door. And I was doing this and I thought, you know what would be awesome? if I could just do a little diorama inside it as well. So my entire top hatch has a little magnet here, a little magnet here, so I can uh, on, off as I want it to. And it's going to be brilliant. So what have I done differently on this one? As you can see, I've still underslung the rocket pods. This one is my only Storm Eagle with the landing gear down. So this will be on the lowest of the three flying bases that I do. It still has the Night Lord doors on the sides. This one has heavy bolters on the front instead of the multi-melters because I wanted this one to be a bit more anti-troop. And it's a bit more chaosy. It's got these trophy racks on the back, these meat hooks on the side. And also I've swapped the last cannon heads for these demon mouths because this Storm Eagle is not transporting a tactical squad it is not transporting terminators it is transporting Kurz himself so coming flying out of this Storm Eagle will be Conrad Kurz and his honor guard so I wanted it to look a little bit more brutal than the others but not so overly chaos that it's, you know, obscenely spiky. So I think it's come out quite well. Now, I need plans for the inside section. I have my Praetor looking guy that's going to be coming out of the Storm Eagle. I need to fill this space here and this space here. Now, what I was, well, it's already been suggested by uh, my friend Dave, who's playing Horus, our War Master, is getting a squad ready to deploy, which was the original plan. And yes, I know there is a lot of, a uh, lot of glue in there. That was uh, originally this was going to be a completely sealed Storm Eagle, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, what was I saying? Yes, was having a squad ready to deploy, but I'm quite fond of the idea of having maybe a troop or two in the front here prep him but in the back making something akin to an autopsy table and having an apothecary possibly flaying somebody in here and a cheeky little nod to Aaron Dembski Bowden and the flayer even though he was never originally a night lord you know just a little apothecary skinning a prisoner or something I don't know um, yeah thoughts guys what would you like to see going on in the back of uh, Conrad Kurz's Storm Eagle and if anyone says a tanning salon, oi. well, I can promise you it's not going to be a tanning salon. I can tell you that. So, Storm Eagle number three done. Better get my ass to painting because that's all that's left to do for these guys now. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned, have fun, be good to each other, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.